Hey everybody, it's uh, Retro Kid, Retro Kid Reviews. Um, I'm about to, uh, after this part right here, I'm going to review uh, Superhero Tyson GP. But some business out of the way first. Earlier this week, you may have noticed uh, Wes Craven passed away. Um, if you don't know who Wes Craven is, then one, you're not a horror expert, but that's understandable. Um, for many, you probably know him as the guy who directed um, the Nightmare on Elm Street series, Hellraiser, uh, Scream in my case. I also knew Nightmare as well. I knew Freddy Krueger. I knew all those guys. And um, he passed away at 76. And um, I, I'm not that kind of person that judges like, oh, who if that if that's too young or who lived. I honestly think he lived a long life. Either way, 76 is okay in my book, but. He should have lived a little longer. Um, I'm only I've heard it through through IMDb, IGN, and now I'm thinking local news too. Um, I'm currently recording this uh, Tuesday, at least after hearing it over the weekend. Actually, Monday. Sorry. Um. Yeah. Uh, I, like I said, I'm not the biggest fan of the guy's work, but I I, I will acknowledge that he did groundbreak. A lot of horror, you know. He made Freddy Krueger. How do I not say no to that? Um, I, from what I'm understanding, he also was executive producing um, the screen television series before he passed. So that's definitely gonna be interesting if uh, MTV picks that up for season two. Um, so yeah, that's gonna be interesting. So um. I'm gonna do a you know a brief moment of silence and then um <laughs> honestly wish I had Freddy Krueger uh, gloves to, to you know to, to remember the guy but um I don't know I'm just gonna do it now and um you know just get this over with. rest in peace man all right so with that said um. I do know um, what's also going on, uh, Carmen or Ghost related, I've seen, I think that's his official music video, um, and the release date of the of the writers um, of Carmen or Ghosts, uh, I know you're not in it for news after that, I know, but I know, I'm aware that it's coming out in October, I'll do news on this after the review, um, I don't know if it's in between, I, I might happen. If I'm raised wrong, I don't know. I might forget, actually. Sorry about this. Um, sorry, just an emotional kind of week around here. I don't know. That I just finished watching Tyson GP, so. Eh. Alright, so with that said, here we go. Take care, guys. Hmm. Huh. Seriously, a beat the clock challenge for the Divas Championship? Whoa! Huh. Hey, why- why stick it in the back? You know damn well why, Retro! It's time! Wait, what do you- what do you mean it's time? It's time! To review Tyson GP. Oh! Wait, wait, seriously? Yes! Say the damn thing! Oh, uh, hello everybody, it's Retro Kid of Retro Kid Reviews, and, uh, be right back. Shh! That's my line! And, hmm. Am I actually like, okay, whoa, 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 I'll be right back. I can't believe you're letting me go first. Well, this is part of your show, too. Fine, whatever. So, I am the passing through Kamen Rider Decade, and this is... Hey everybody, it's Retro again, and uh, we have seen the unseeable, we have done the impossible, and we kinda, well, in his case, maybe believe that he is not the asshole of assholes for 20 seconds. Wait, what? Yeah, kinda. 
<sighs> well, whatever counts. Yes, he and I sat through Zubiro Tyson GP. Yes, we got backed into a corner, and even Retro has to agree that there were some dark spots in this movie. Uh, kind of like that divorce thing you said about what, uh, yeah, man, man, your camera is getting blotchier every freaking day. You, you, seriously, is, this, is, like, is there like a lighting issue? Uh, I feel like it's no, Nortagi's fault here. I, I got a feeling it is. Like, uh, let me, uh, yeah, let me, let me fix something here. What, what, what could you possibly fix? You're a lighting for starters. Huh. Well. Until he does, I'm gonna put the light, flashlight setting on. Anyway, yeah, uh, there's really no getting around it. Um, yes, it's a mess, but not as big as a mess as, say, <clears throat> the last one. Well, I gotta give it to you that. Wait, really? No, it's like admitting that I'm that I'm bad. I'm like, come on, I I'm the passing through camera. I have to like. All right, look, I don't. The, the, the Songo himself. You got your ass handed by a new successor, and any boob. Ow! Okay! Like, he got his ass handed by freaking ninjas and, and, and a car. What is this car? Okay, you're gonna be like this with every single successor for the rest of your life? Yes? I mean, don't you with, like, you know, shit I do? Fuck, he's right. <clears throat> What's that? What's that, Retro? Do I see sass off you? Shut up. And it's not even full British. Alright, anyway, yes, um, we're getting around to the obvious. Um, I, I thoroughly recommend... Thanks, camera one. Wait, we got a camera crew now? Holy crap, I've been out of the game for a while. You tried strangling me the other week over Dragon Ball Super. Oh yeah, that was awesome. What week is this in? We're you know what, never mind. Look. <sighs> anyway... Cards for the previous stuff we've done so far, and cards for, I guess, trailers for this, and let's just get the obvious. It's... How are... Well, where, where do we begin? Let's start with uh, the cast members that are here. Uh, more specifically, uh, returning writers. So, are you good to hang back? I'll guard your freaking belt. If you jack it. <laughs> I don't jack. I claim. <laughs> sure you do. Uh, I just remember some certain girlfriend that stabbed it. Oh, are you gonna be like that? Yeah, I'm gonna be like that. It's totally worth it. Made that movie watchable. Anyway, uh, Kotaro Manami. I wish I knew your real name, the actor who played you. I apologize. A thousand pardons, as always. Come on, Black and RX. Oh my God. What's this? What's this? Why? Why is there a photo bucket here? I do not need a photo bucket. Talk about one of my favorite show era writers ever. Another photo bucket. What is this? We do not. We do not see photo bucket. We do not see this. This photo of buckets. Here we go. Much better. Anyway, Goto Minami pretty much shows up. Uh, very. I hate to say early on. When after uh, not. Oh, well, I might as well say it. Sango shows up. Pretty much the beginning uh, half of the movie pretty much starts off with Shango pretty much retconning the ending of Ichigo and Nigo, basically one and two. For those in Japan who remember how uh, the first comer ends, they pretty much take over the base and destroy the leader of Shogger and have a happy ending to go on to V3 and train V3 to destroy any splinter groups of what's left to Shogger. Yes, I actually do some light research. By that, I mean I watched decent uh, Shinta's reviews and, I guess, minor Google searching. Yes, I do that. Hi, Shinta. How you doing, buddy? Um, anyway. So, um, yes. Uh, anyway. The movie exclusive uh, one here. Not V3, as I used to call them. Now, just 3. Was now reckoned as, like, their new ultimate weapon, as Shocker does in these movies. Pretty much comes in to pretty much retcon that ending. Basically comes in at the finale and just like kill, to basically kill them. And just retcon every single writer story ever to be the ultimate writer. So if you're playing along, basically, be the Showa error me. Am I correct so far? 
Well, I would tell you to jump in at any time, but yes, uh, yeah, pretty much to be the show error of him. And that's why he's been jealous for the last several friggin' months. Oh, come on, I... I got possessed by Shocker once in a couple of movies. Once? How about in Tai Sang when he wanted to kill every single Sentai ever? He had... I got this. You sure you got this? Because it doesn't sound like you got You wanted to kick his ass too, and you were winning. Barely. Oh, and you were brainwashed too, by the way. So, haha. Huh. Yeah, that's another thing with Shocker's influence this time of the movie, and why only a few uh, writer cast members came back and... Yeah, why well, this this cast list right here is pretty much all you're getting, aside from Zeronos and pretty much the uh, the drive cast. Basically, all the other writers, Heisei and Shoa, are pretty much brainwashed and or killed by Shocker. Pretty much, if you're resisting against Shocker at this point in the timeline, you're either brainwashed or you're screwed. That's it. No no questions asked. Nothing. Anyway, um, getting back on point, Koto was gonna be the last up, but. Everyone who showed up into the movie, Kodoro, uh, I guess two, yeah, two writers in, uh, uh, actually side writers of Blade, uh, Zeronos from <clears throat> Deno, really want to get to watching Deno from what I'm hearing is actually okay until I see the movies, and of course, Fives himself, who also came back, uh, the previous movie, Showa vs. Heisei, and I actually, I know his subplot in Showa vs. Heisei was... Yeah, all over the place, too. It was just basically a frenemy plot with, um, X. Before they realized they were both riders and they just went back to killing each other. It was okay at first. I knew it was going to screw up in the end, but... That was Fives. He just made frenemies out of nowhere with, um, the Orphanox. And then it just, just blows up in his face. I thought that was okay storytelling until X showed his true colors as a rider. There it is. I agree. So... The only one out of these returning writers that knew this was becoming a bad plot, or at least timeline was all over the place, surprisingly, was Aronos. Basically, Deno acting like a Deno actor, which is, I guess, good. If anyone had any inconsistencies or problems with Deno in the past, uh, I think whoever directed this, I know Gun Caliber uh, went to the theater and saw... Uh, for those who don't know the Gun Caliber crew, I don't have time to Google uh, search... Um, I really wish I did. You're telling me you don't have time to Google search an idiot J-Hero who drinks, smokes, and has porn the size of my ego? Yes. Do it! Well, of those who don't know, okay, I'm going, I'm going. He's kind of an idiot, but he is right. He did do a vlog on it, and... Uh, actually... Crap. Um... Uh, Thank you. Oh, are we there yet? Yes, we're getting there, Decade. Just relax. Ugh, we are so unprofessional today. I'm sorry, you threw this on me, and this is what we get. Ah, uh, there is the idiot in question. He's basically an indie tokusatsu, and he's kind of a pain in my ass sometimes. Oh, leave the photo book, since it's been your problem. No, don't no, leave it. Ah, uh, look at him. Just look at him smoke. Look at that smoking jacket. Look at that smoking jacket. Oh, yeah, look at him wave them fingers. Yeah. If I see you in the unlucky power stations, I'm gonna kick your- Okay, okay, we get it. Can I get back to action here? Uh, please! Alright, before my battery runs out. Alright, fine. Whiner. Yes, him and his YouTube crew did review the movie, and I am putting cards on that, and yes, he kind of hated the movie at first, since he is a director of Tokusatsu himself, and of course, Indie Toku, he is more aware of what's going on. And if you ever get the chance to see his movie, he kind of puts private links to it, so you're going to have to follow his social media to like pretty much know when it's coming out. I did see it, it's totally worth it when you get the chance, It it's kind of like a lovable loser kind of character, totally worth it. Anyway. Back on this movie, um, how they pretty much reworked, um, Drive out of all this is just basically they rewrote Drive like a show error movie, or, like, pretty much if they rewrote Drive in show error terms, that's all they did. 
Like, they brainwashed the hell out of Shinosuke. The only one that was, like, like that knew what was going on was, surprisingly, Kiriko. Another reason why, if you're following me on Tumblr, she should be a freaking common writer. But since we're nearing the end of the series, it's probably never going to happen. Hell, the captain is going to be a freaking writer if you're also following the uh, news and all the... Uh, uh, crap. I'm trying to remember them. If you're remembering all the magazine scans so far from um, I haven't done any news on that, but he looks to be a really good writer. Um, it sounds like a finale arc, and it looks okay. Uh, getting back to uh three, he built he's built up as a really good villain. Uh, his car here is okay. He had a really good chase scene with Drive, and he pretty much sets himself up as a hero at first to pretty much like. I guess Randy Orton, RKO, I don't know, or on the twist ending. Not really on a twist ending, like, a twist, uh, like, oh, you thought I was a, a villain the whole time? I totally regret, you know, killing, um, Ryder 1 and Ryder 2, my, my bad, yo, and everything, and I'm gonna lead you to this place called Ryder Town. And, uh, since I'm 12 minutes and I might as well just go ahead and, like, go full spoilers, it's a freaking trap. It was such a trap. He's like, ah, and all that trap crap. It's, it's a, it's a straight-up shocker plot, and anyway, like, you know, it's okay. I mean, I, I am I am definitely a show hour enthusiast. I love show hour. Hell, one of my favorite show hours to go back to watch are Black, uh, uh, Jet, uh, Zay, not Jay, Zay, I'm, I'm butchering the names, uh, Jay, Jay, Zeto, Shin. I want to see the first two. I want to see Stronger. I want to see these old stories. Yes, they'll have gimmicky plots, and yes, this is technically a gimmicky thing for Shocker to do. But yet, here they have a really strong writer that they can manipulate, and technically speaking, this is a really good idea. I know it's bad, I know probably 4 is the same thing too, because here's his DVD exclusive slapped on on the poster too. Because I've seen his DVD uh, exclusive too, That got I think that got subtitled before this movie. Um... And for some reason, it was this, like, Groundhog situation, and another spoiler, Go, um, Mahawk, sorry, I, I, that's how they pronounce him in Japanese, um, stays dead in this movie for some weird reason. I just, I don't know, this movie just really wants to keep Mach dead. I have no clue why. I don't know. Um, anyway, um, everybody else, um... The race itself, if you've seen the trailers, it, it's, a, it's a not bad race, it's just... Finishing up all the subplots that was building any animosity between Drive and, um, Songo, and it's okay, like, Songo is pretty much a winaholic, like, if Vegeta ever wanted to be, uh, a writer, for those who saw my Jack Wall Super review, so just want to put that out there, also, hi, Jack Wall Z abridged, mine, 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 Ugh! that was full of my dick. Yes, uh, I know, I'm only going by the cooler abridged, but trust me, it's totally worth it. And the Avengers of Dunburn! Hurry up, Rush Route! Okay, I'm getting on to it. Um, so I might as well just finish up everybody else. Uh, as for uh, the Blade Riders, they all had a subplot too, but they fully got converted. They couldn't, like, sur they couldn't, they couldn't survive. The, the whole cast got, like, brainwashed. Zeronos was the only one that stayed part of the main cast. Fives was kind of in between. He was like sidelined, but he managed to actually do a form change. Out of that, um, Black managed to do RX because his his car tried to uh, rider tried on was in the was in the race too. But I guess because of budgetary reasons, they had to do straight up CG. And again, I, I hate to. Uh, go what gun caliber said the cg wasn't holding up to it but it makes sense um like i guess they couldn't i guess because they didn't have the time to like recreate the car i guess that i mean i guess in a show error like restoration they could only have time to like recreate the suits not like the bikes themselves which sucks i know but i, I mean if you're gonna do like a fan film like like if, if, if you're like an indie tokusatsu enthusiast if you if you love black or any short stories, I I guess you could try to re recreate some of the uh, any of these bikes here or any of these vehicles from RX. Um, uh, it's a start. 
Um, so yeah, um, they did manage to stop him, and yes, the ninja was in here somewhere. This is technically a Tyson. It's a straight up cameo fight. It's like they come in, they do their um, they 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 they, they, all, they only just come here to transform the Zord and like pretty much do the movie exclusive stuff. That's really it. And and, and I love and grandpa's and their grandpa's still grandpa's like yes, kids, you still got this. Shut up! No, no, no! Drive! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up. You know what? Take this shuriken. Go with the kids and just, just get it, get it away from me. And just ninjas out of here. Yeah, even even Grandpa's like, I'm not having this shit. I, I, gotta, I gotta get. Where's my paycheck? Seriously, where the fuck is my paycheck? That is probably the best accurate accurate <laughs> accurate thing about that guy too. Also, I probably would get hit by the wall. Sorry. No joke. I'm gonna give you that. Anyway, our final rating for the movie, yes, it's a mess, but it's not as big as a mess as the previous ones. Um, it, it again, it has a, a, an attitude like a show error, uh, script, so technically, if you like a show error, um, writer of your choice, if you have the, if you, it just feel like you wanna, like, get to know a show error setting, this is a good place to start, but it's just... One big what if, like what if um Drive was wrote like a so show error show? That's really it. That's all I see it as. Um, for the returning writers to come back, it's a really good. It's good for me to see uh Miami Kotro. I know I'm all, I know I'm going back, but I'm going by his character name. I really, really, really should know your or your actor name. I truly, desperately apologize. Um, to come back and um do his uh ever to just to basically tension both black and rx i know he did it in in decades movie decades episode yes yes he did so i know you're a big black fan i know you're a big rx fan so shut it <sighs> my final thoughts is that yes i have been in writer wars with all of these writers and yes i kind of agree with this chain smoking asshole but I will admit that I do have to agree that they did make a really good ish and I mean ish retro story here barely and keep in mind barely with Songo wait seriously that guy are, are you okay is Nortaki possessing you again no he's not in all accounts, he's still a writer, and that is his story. And I am passing through Kamara, and I defend all stories. It is a shame that he's only a time anomaly. That would have been an awesome fight, the two of you. Me and him. And you probably interfering. As I would have. So yeah, it's a mess, but it's worth watching if... You've, you, you basically you gotta have a Tyson in you uh, just to like get a feel of what's going on, or basically just watch the second to last one. If you're in it for a ninja, I honestly just say watch the TV version, um, because they did a TV version, um, like I forgot when, like early in the, uh, I guess early in the fall, or like no, actually early in the winter. So the TV version is better if you if you're coming for just a ninja, don't do it. Um, if you want it as a show error story, it's definitely a show error story. It feels like it. It feels uh, basically uh, it, it's a good two extremes. It put it puts both errors working together against Shocker, and it's a very it's good for me. It's like they're not at each other's throats, which is very good for once, and it's okay. So with that said, this is Retro Kid of Retro Kid Reviews. I really hope. Um, my camera and my time could take this. I know I'm all over the place, but trust me, so is this movie. <laughs> so I'm gonna make sure we we uh, check for green mist crap because I'm not having another time allowing me to this house. Take care, guys, and have a good weekend. I have to agree with him on that. And I am the passing through camera a decade. And I also will be checking green mist on my way out of here. Shh. That was one hell of a race.